Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the Transformers Thrilling 30s G-Axis. And as you can see, he is pretty damn awesome. Based off of the Armada Starscream mold, this version of G-Axis um, hails from the Dark Universe and is a member of Nova Prime's or I get Nemesis slash Nova Prime's dead universe Autobots who were trying to search the stars in order to conquer them because they were really, really patriotic and said, well, we're a pretty great species. Screw it. Let's show everybody else this greatness. Th they were essentially the Fire Nation before the Fire... Oh, actually, no, I think the Fire Nation came first. I'm not sure the the air date of Avatar and um, the the comics it may have been around the same time. A anyways, they they were very Fire Nation in terms of uh, in terms of idealism, and quite honestly, I I love this figure. As I said, the mold itself is based off of the Thrilling Thirty Armada Starscream design. Um, you can tell that in the way that everything kind of slopes down the way, the way that the wings work and his transformation is that exactly of the Transformers, um, thrilling thirties Armada Starscream. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit of editing there. Um, but yeah, so. Something else really cool about this design is, I believe, the color scheme and the um, and the body design were based off of, I think it was either Universe 2.0 or the, um, the Unicron Trilogy version of G-Axis, where he was black and orange and gray. Um... So that's where, like, this color scheme comes from. And quite honestly, I think this looks really good. It's menacing as all hell. It's kind of terrifying. And it works for this really sadistic friggin' um, scientist who operated on RC in a controversial comic that I kind of enjoy because the, the it's, it's traumatic. Just a wee bit. And it shows just how sick and twisted this G-Axis is. Um, I will not go into said um, comic. I will not because I want to not go into it. Um, check out the basics on G-Axis for, uh, for that because I, I just, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole and hazmat gear on. That, that's how much I don't want to touch it. Um, But as you can see, he is a very nice-looking figure. A couple of, just due to mold degradation uh, and old age, he's a little floppy-floppy. When I first got him, he was good. Um, Head is on a ball joint, so you get a very nice full 360 degree here. Arms can go all... About out about this far, and actually something that I really like is the addition of the um these little uh, I guess they would be small hydraulics. Uh, essentially, they're just there to make it look like um there's something moving the chest as uh out of the chest as well. So it's not just oh hey there's two flaps there, and I really like that design. I I very much enjoy that. You get a very nice bicep swivel. Right around here, thanks to it being a mushroom peg. Kind of 90 degree bend, not really. For some reason, the mold really seizes up about here. And trying to force that just doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm going to break the plastic. Um, So that's unfortunate. But legs can go out about that far. So he's got a very decent kick. If you move the backpack out of the way, you get a very good back kick thanks to the ball joints. A very nice thigh swivel. 
wonderful knees thanks to transformation and you get a little bit of ankle tilted tiltage something you really didn't well actually you know what no uh back in thrilling 30s we were starting to see more ankle articulation which was nice and again because he's armada starscream based he has the two giant missile launchers of doom that are just uh pressure controlled so you grab onto the minicon port here Grab onto the tail and you just shoot out a missile that you can also kind of use as a baton or as a walking stick. And of course, if you're looking for something more practical in terms of defense of your scientific um, discoverer you also get two very nice looking auto pistols that I have given to other Transformers to wield because... I just think they look bloody awesome. <laughs> like, these things are really well designed. They're very cool. Um, and just something that I kind of wish I got more of. Because, <laughs> like, th these things are really awesome looking. Um, but, yeah. So, let's get down to the... Uh, I guess comparisons. Here he is next to one of the other Thrilling 30s that I have. Of course, you know him. Uh, you love him, uh, according to the views on my channel. Uh, by the way, thank you all so very much. I'm glad you enjoy. Good old Night Beat. Who I really hope in Legacy we get a new toy of. Because I'm really sick of this one being my only damn Night Beat. <laughs> damn it, Hasbro. Give me another one. I command it. Even though currently we're only at 86. I think we're at 86, which is uh, bloody fantastic. Um, again, thank you all so much. You guys rock. And of course, I can't do a GX's video without, of course, showing off the multi technicolored sociopath that birthed this truly magnificent sociopath. Um, yeah, you can definitely see the differences here. Conqueror, scientist. And I like that distinction. Uh, I actually do. Um, I have a, because this is, you know, Transformers, everybody has their own little fanfics, own, own little stories. This is OG. This is a body that he adopts every now, um, like a clone body. He adopts every now and again. To set aside like any sort of like fear of oh he's going to betray Megatron there there's no way he's not going to you know betray the Decepticon cause and he even put instead of this deep voice that's commanding and terrifying no he puts on like a little bit of a uh, of a, a small German scientist style you know you have the the evil scientist that whole cliche yada yada yada. It just has that creep factor to it because, <clears throat> sorry, that voice gets really easy to kind of go into. Um, you know, in, in the comic books, he's lanky. He's thin. The only real buff parts are his chest and the, the fact in his legs. So his arms and his torso are very kind of thin and lanky and he's very hunched over. Which brings out the whole, like, he's not a fighter. He will cower in fear and then run away. It's a, uh, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that. And now let's get down to the transformation, shall we? So the first thing you're going to want to do here is just take out the, uh, take out the guns. And there are... As you can see, two tiny little tabs that will fit into the wings here. That just kind of um, fit that in there. That's why they also have this little uh, outcropping groove. Um, that just fits into that groove spot right there as well. That just keeps them nice, slug, nice, snug, and in place. So, for simplicity's sake, all you're going to want to do is bring in the hands... Bring out the front cockpit and then just flip the entire chest up like so. 
Next, you want to flip down the head and then flip out the nose cone. Now you can do this both in, like at the same time, but you're gonna wanna move the wing in like so and also bring in the arm. The arm has a small tab right here that will fit into this little uh, orange notch right over here. So you just want to tab it in like so. And you just do the same here on the other side. So it should look like that when you look at it from the top. And obviously not have the, uh... there we go, the gun's falling off. And next you just, for the feet, you just collapse the feet, kind of angle them up to rotate them at the thigh and then just bring them in like so. So from this side, which is probably the smarter suggestion, here, bring it up, move it in, and then you see these three and these two. Just kind of connect those together. And then bring down the landing gear, bring down the landing gear, and here you have him in jet mode. And, oh boy, he is a tiny little jet, isn't he? Isn't he adorable? This is cute as shit. For a devastatingly terrifying sociopath, um, the Decepticons really do know how to um, how to find the coolest looking uh, jets, don't they? You get the Seekers with their jets, the uh, the nose cones, or the, the the cone heads. Sorry, the nose cones. Uh, you get the cone heads, and they're really awesome uh, vehicle designs. These guys, the uh, the Rainmakers and their Cybertronian modes, Cyclonus and his flyers. The I, do we count Scourge? I mean, he's a space tug. I, I guess we kind of have to. Trigger Happy and all those guys. Um, yeah, the Decepticons know how to fly. <laughs> the Decepticons definitely know how to fly. Not saying the Autobots don't. It's just a lot more cons are jets than. Uh, than bots and it's a little funny how in recent years Starscream is depicted as being a racist against all car formers but that is a tangent for another time I apologize I got distracted but yes as you can see he is a very nice rendition of the Armada jet that Starscream transformed into with some minor alterations to it i.e. the color scheme and actually the wings too have been bulked out a lot more than on Starscream's toy. Starscream's wings were a lot more were a lot thinner and a lot more um just uh I, uh they were a lot thinner <laughs> than these. They were a lot more angular. Uh they came to a singular point and much less like these um like the sawtooth wings that are here. So I guess that means that technically Jaxus is more aerodynamic, if I remember my aviation correctly. Um, I don't... I'm pretty sure this is BS. I'm pretty sure that's bullshit. Um, but as you can see, even on this toy, like in the original, there's a wee bit of a kind of bump here, which is a little interesting, a little weird. But yeah. The, uh, the giant cannons still work, which is really nice. So you can shoot missiles there, and the uh, the wings on the guns, or the guns on the wings, <laughs> Jesus Christ, work a lot nicer here uh, as well for jet mode, which is really nice. So he actually has, you know, um, multiple firing methods. He's not just shooting missiles at people. No, he's blasting them to hell. Yeah. So for comparison, here he is next to that boy, Nutbeat, in his very nice... Totally not a Mustang inspired car mode. Definitely not. Totally not a Mustang. You definitely can't see it. No, actually, I don't think any Mustang would be in that garish color scheme. Unless Night B was like, no, that that's that is now mine. Oh, yeah, there he is there. And here he is with G2 G Axis. And I gotta say, I if <sighs> hot take. 
Please don't kill me. If we got this vehicle mode, but this level of dynamic movement and stuff, uh, just for Jaxus and like this color scheme as well, um, my God, would it look fantastic. Um, I know that's not going to happen. Though, in fairness, we do have Armada Starscream. And don't worry, when I get him, I will be reviewing him. And I cannot wait to get that. Um, yeah, so y you can see, just, again, the design difference and just, like, Cybertronian t Earth. Like, the, the, the difference in Jet is, like, null and void here. They both scan two totally different alt modes. I just prefer this version because it's a little bit more... I don't want to say realistic, because it's not. It looks cooler than what is essentially a giant crayon. That th This is a crayon. This is a jet. You know what I mean? But yeah. So that has been it for Transformers Thrilling 30 G-Axis. G-Axis? Chris, I still, I still can't get the name right. <laughs> But yeah, so that's it for uh, for Thrilling 30's Jaxus. I hope you have enjoyed, and um, I hate to ask this again. Um, first of all, because we're, like I said, at 86, and I cannot thank you all enough, and I hate asking for this. Um, if we could maybe get to... Let's say 100 subscribers by the end of July. I will review a toy that is very, very precious to me. My first, the first ever Transformer that I had. And the first Transformer really that got me into the franchise. So if you're at all curious about that, because I'm pretty sure I've talked about him before. Um... Hell, he's even shown up in one of my videos, if you can uh, <laughs> guess what that one is. Um, but yeah. So, if you want to see that, or heck, if you just want to see the channel grow because you think, you know, some another <laughs> crazy upstart uh, reviewing toys in essentially a basement with, a, uh, with his cell phone is interesting, uh, or if that synopsis of me makes you realize what have I done with my life um yeah um subscribe leave a like leave a comment um I feel like a shill for asking and I apologize but that that crap is over thank you all so much for watching have a good rest of your day night or whatever you watch this stay safe brush your teeth all that fun stuff and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.